30 number of flows. In Power Automate, every user can have up to 600 flows per user, and in each one of these flows, you can put up to 500 actions. Now, that's a lot of flows and a lot of actions. 29. CSV to Excel. To convert a CSV file to Excel, open the file and then save the file in the new Excel workbook using the Save document as option in the Close Excel action. 28. Stop running process. Now, if you wanted to stop a process that is running on your environment, you can stop it using a hotkey. You can select the hotkey from your settings from the Power Automate desktop pane. 27. Add comments to a flow. Adding comments in Power Automate Desktop is very easy. It's not going to only allow you to keep things tidy, but it's also going to allow you to separate actions inside of your flows. 26. Add multiple selectors. Adding multiple selectors is going to allow you to save a lot of development steps. You can add different selectors within the same UI elements in Power Automate. 25. Use tolerance for recording images. Using tolerance for recording images is going to allow you to make your images easier to find by Power Automate and therefore it's going to allow you to build stronger processes. 24. Export machine logs. If you go to Help and Preview Troubleshoot, you will be able to export the machine logs of your Power Automate desktop and understand exactly what is happening with your robots. 23. Export your flows. From the Solution tab in Power Automate, you will be able to export any of your processes, either from the different dev environments, example from the test environment to production, or to different accounts. You can export your Power Automate desktop or cloud flows or business process flows or any other type of process. Solutions also give you the ability to export all related components of your flows. 22. Delay speed. Changing the default delay speed of 100 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds, for example, is going to make your processes more stable when you're developing and also more stable in execution. 21. Rename elements. A quick and easy way to rename all of your UI elements is by using F2 shortcut. This will allow you to keep things tidy.